am Keita Williams, your favorite success bully. I am the founder and chief strategist of Success Bully. And Success Bully is an accountability practice where we professionally kick booty. <laughs> so let's do a quick visualization exercise. Now, work with me on this one. Feel free to close your eyes. You can go to a quiet place, whatever works for you. I want you to mentally build a fortified castle with a moat and a drawbridge. Around this castle, you have an extensive armed guard that keeps watch day and night. Inside your fabulous castle with all the feature comforts, because that's how I visualize a castle. It have TVs and servants and such. There's a long staircase that leads to a tower. This impressive tower has an even more sophisticated elite tech team guarding it. You are fortified from all sides. In this safe place, I want you to put your goal or your vision. I want you to put it in this safe place. I'm not suggesting you hide it, but I'm suggesting that you keep it safe. As you're working on your next big piece of disruptive technology, finally writing that screenplay, making a radical career change, or launching a global business destined to touch the lives of millions, there will be naysayers. There will be those who do not understand your vision. It might be the people closest to you. There will be setbacks and challenges externally and internally that will derail you. Remember that your goal is in that tower and it is protected at all costs. So what do I mean by all of this? Let us go to the tip jar. When you have someone close to you that's being a bit of a naysayer, here's a tip. Break out the nod and smile. There's no need for you to waste energy explaining what you're doing. All you have to do is simply prove them wrong. So while you're getting the whole discussion of what you should be doing, nod and smile and show them what you're made of. Challenges. When you have a setback in your goal setting or the unforeseen comes up, you have to revisit your why. Not the superficial why where, oh, I wanna make lots of money, but the real why. For me, my why is I want to inspire others. I wanna bring out the best in everyone I come in contact with. And that keeps me grounded when the challenges come up and the setbacks get in the way. Also, track those little W's. Formulate some sort of system where you can see your progress. Uh, applaud and cheerlead those small steps. It is small, consistent steps that'll get you there. Lastly, or finally, in summation, be careful who you share your vision with. Not everyone is gonna be happy for you, and you need to be okay with that. Remember your goal is in that tower that's fortified and protected on all sides. Keep working every day to make your goal a reality. Even the smallest of steps will get you much closer. Be sure to check us out on successbully.com. Follow along on the Twitters and the Instagram at successbully. This is produced with love by Large Media and I am your shimmery, shiny host, <laughs> Keita Williams. And as always, I'm available for 101 bullying should you need it. Let's get after it. <laughs>